Today I want to talk to you about excuses. Now we all make excuses every day about all sorts of things. But the destructive ones are the excuses we make so that we don't have to take action to actually improve our IBS and our situation in life. To, uh, yesterday, I think it was, I had a phone call with a client and I asked about how she was getting on with exercise because it was the week in the program um, focused on exercise. And she said that she couldn't go outside the area where they lived. I think they lived in a kind of a compound because there were no footpaths. It was just the road. They were a little bit rural. So she could walk around the park area that was within the compound, but that only took her 15 minutes. So she couldn't do the 20 to 30 minutes that I was saying. Now, I know you're sitting there probably already laughing. And I just on the at my desk sitting there with my eyes wide thought, what? Is that an excuse not to do the 30 minutes? I said to her, so why don't you go around the park twice? And she was silent. And then she burst out laughing. And she said, I hadn't even thought about it. Now, I know that sounds absolutely ludicrous, but that's how we make excuses to ourselves in order not to do something. Believe me with my coaching, I hear all sorts of excuses why somebody can't do the re relaxation techniques, which take 10 minutes a day. Why they can't exercise. It's the, the weather or the sore toe, that there's something, there's always a reason. Why they can't eat their meals three to five hours apart. Why they can't eat when they get up first thing in the morning so that they break the fast. I have heard every excuse on earth. I want you to stop making the excuses. Now in order to do that, of course, you've got to recognize that you are making excuses. Excuses not to get on with your life, not to solve your own problems, not to get better. I have clients or potential clients who I talk to on phone calls who at the end of the call say, yes, that's something I really want to do. I need to do that coaching program. My life is crap and I need to sort it out. But I've just got to think about it for a little bit longer and see if this is the right time in my life to do it. What? Why would you want to continue with what she called a crap situation? Why would you want to stay in pain? Why aren't you being proactive and doing something yesterday about your problems? It's excuses, all excuses. So I want you to think in your own lives, how many times a day you make an excuse not to do something? And when you analyze it, how ridiculous was that excuse? Like that lady not able to do 30 minutes because the park only took 15 minutes to walk around. I bet you in every single day you come up with so many times that you make an excuse, you'll be surprised. If you excluded all those excuses from your life, you'd already be well. So let's get on with it. Kill those excuses and get over your IBS and get your life in order. Right, that's enough preaching for today. Thank you for watching and goodbye.